it comes to uh, treatment with uh, IL-23s, uh, we find that these drugs are high performers, but even with the best of psoriasis treatment, we still see primary failures. So about 10% of patients do not achieve at least a PASI 75 by 12 to 16 weeks. So it's very helpful that we have other options for these patients and having another IL-23 to offer is a very good option. So when thinking about the challenges of long-term therapy with interleukin-23, we've been really lucky in that there haven't been a lot of challenges because once this uh, therapy is working for a patient, it tends to continue working for a patient. Um, I, I think they're all good therapies, the interleukin-23, the interleukin-17. You know, we were kind of happy with TNF therapy back in the day. Um, so again, I, I do look at the IL-23 class as, as being a very, very useful um, and uh, extremely effective uh, modality for treating psoriasis. En général, je dois dire que comme classe de médicaments, les inhibiteurs euh, IL-23 sont d'excellentes molécules. Euh, je dirais que la posologie aux euh, 12 semaines est appréciée par plusieurs patients. Le fait aussi qu'il y a une seule euh, injection, certains patients me le mentionnent. Aussi, je vois une excellente efficacité puis une réponse qui est maintenue euh, à long terme pour ceux qui ont, eu, euh, qui ont obtenu un PASI euh, 90 ou PASI 100.